question I frequently get is how to upload or open your spreadsheet file in Google Sheets. So let's talk about that. First, you want to download whatever file you're working with to the hard drive of your computer. Remember, you, you, can, you can get that from your original purchase email, whether you get it from Etsy or paperandspark.com, you can log into your account, click on memberships and go to the page for that file and download it straight from here. Whatever you need to do, just get it downloaded to your computer hard drive first. That's the first step to being able to upload it to your Google Drive. Then you wanna log into your Gmail or Google account, go to your drive and upload it to your drive. It has to be uploaded to your drive before you can open it in Google Sheets. So I'm gonna to go to File Upload by clicking that new button right there. And then you wanna navigate on your computer hard drive to wherever you saved it. So navigate to the applicable folder on your computer hard drive. For me, it went straight to my downloads folder, so I'm just gonna upload it from there. Choose it and it will upload to your Google Drive. Once it's uploaded, you can either click that right there if you want, or you can go look at your recent uploads or whatever. Once it's uploaded to your Google Drive, it usually has this little spreadsheet icon by it. You can double click on it and it will preview for you, but what you wanna do is click open with Google Sheets, and then it will load and open your file in Google Sheets. And this is what it will look like once it's open in Google Sheets. It looks a tiny bit different than Excel and the video tutorials, but it works nearly exactly the same. The only really important difference to note with Google Sheets is that it doesn't support the cells or the formulas being locked. So you can very easily accidentally delete all my beautiful built-in formulas uh, and not get them back. So please don't do that. Be very cognizant of Anywhere you see a dollar sign with this little blank dash here, that means there's a built-in formula there. Don't delete those guys if you want your spreadsheet to continue to work correctly. And you can rinse and repeat that download upload process for downloading your CSVs from Etsy or PayPal or wherever you're importing from for your spreadsheet. You want to download those to your hard drive and then upload them to Google Sheets as well before you copy and paste them into your import tabs.